What if time zones just stop behaving? I'm not talking about moving by a few hours. I mean drifting by just a few minutes. Every single day, silently, globally, without anyone noticing, at first. Imagine it's Monday. You wake up in New York and the whole city is five minutes late. You don't know why. Tuesday, Tokyo wakes up before yesterday has even ended. Your alarm doesn't match the clock on the wall. No calendars agree anymore. The entire world starts desynchronizing, but so gently you almost don't notice. It's like reality is slowly coming apart at the seams. Soon the effects become impossible to ignore. Flights aren't just missing runways, they're missing reality itself, landing in a time that's slightly off. Stock markets open almost on time, but that almost is enough to cause financial chaos. People stop asking, what time is it? and start asking a much stranger question. Which version of today are you in? Governments are in a full-blown panic. Scientists argue, pointing fingers and proposing wild theories. They try everything. Clocks are patched with new software. Time zones are rebooted like a faulty computer. But nothing works. The drift continues, unstoppable. And then we discover something far worse. The drift isn't random. It's intelligent. It seems to be learning our patterns, our routines. Some days start feeling strangely longer, stretching out. Certain moments begin to repeat themselves, over and over. What used to be a weird feeling of déjà vu now becomes a scheduled, daily event. You know it's coming. And then one morning, every screen on Earth lights up. Every phone, every computer, every digital billboard displays the same message. Humanity gets a notification. It says you may now save and reload reality once per day. Think about it. One mistake undone. One clumsy sentence unsaid. One tragic accident. One death reversed. The ultimate second chance available to everyone every single day. A global reload button. But here's the terrifying part. If everyone can reload the day to fit their own desires, which version of the world is actually real? That makes you really wonder, doesn't it? What do you think? If you want to follow up on more bizarre, funny and twisted what-ifs, do not forget to subscribe and like the video. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.